Good evening. Good evening. How Good are job. you, Rene? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. You still? And you? <laughs> Para preguntarme usted, se dice, and you? And you? I'm great, Rene. Thanks, God. I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Let me see. Sarseño Raul, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm excellent. And you? I'm great. Thanks, God. Thank you for asking me. Let me see. How are you, Jocelyn? I'm fine. Thanks. And you? I'm pretty well, I'll say. I'm excited for today's class. And I'm happy that you are good, Jocelyn. Hello there, Diane. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm sad. My mom broke her foot. What? Really? Oh my gosh, Diane. I'm really sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I'm really sorry. And I hope she gets better, okay? And congratulations to you that even though you are still in class, that shows me or oh, that tells me a lot from you, okay? Thank you so much for being in, gla in class and I hope your mom gets better. Let me see, Fatima Karina, how are you? Hi teacher, I'm fine, and you? I'm great, I'm good to see you. Thank you. Let me see, Jessica, how are you, Jessica? Hello teacher, fine. Excellent, very good. It's good to see you in class, Jessica. Yes. All right, everyone. We're going to wait maybe one minute more to see if your classmates get into the class because I need them. I need them. Some of, some, some of them, I need them in the class. So we're going to wait for them, all right? Ahorita están cenando los compañeros. <laughs> They are having dinner. Let me check who else do we have in here. Uh -huh. Now we have more. Andrea, how are you, Andrea? Hi, teacher. Hi. And you? I'm great. I hear that you're tired. <laughs> are you exercising or Sorry. something? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrea. It's good that you're in class. Well, thank you. Thank you. Me see Marvin. How are you, Marvin? It's so well, teacher. And you? Everything's pretty good. Thanks for asking. Thank you. Let me see. Crisia. Hello there, Crisia. How are you? You have your microphone closed. <laughs> Lisa, how are you? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> my internet. <laughs> Ay, yo me está ignorando. <laughs> Ay, no. <laughs> es que desactivé los datos y conecté el, el Wi-Fi. <laughs> All right. How are you, Cristian? I'm good. I, I am waiting for this class. <laughs> And that's the mood, that's the rhythm. <laughs> Welcome, Rafael, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. A little bit tired, but ready to, to the class. Ready to learn, ready to practice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent, Rafael, it's good to see you in class. Thank you. Let me see, Florence. How are you, Florence? Hi, teacher. I'm very well. My internet doesn't work <laughs> very well because uh, <laughs> for this, my camera is off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't I have worry. problems to connect. <laughs> really? Yeah, it happens. I don't know what's going on, but sometimes the internet gets crazy. It's like 
I need you, <laughs> don't betray me. And the internet is like, yeah, I'm going to betray you. <laughs> Yo te voy a traicionar yes, a because <laughs> it's start to rain in here mm. because of that. Yeah, that's the reason, my friend. Well, it's good that you are in class, Florence. Welcome. Let's see, Noemi. Noemi, what happened today? You are late. <laughs> Yes, I had some problems with my computer. Ah, uh, that's the reason. Yeah, I was wondering, where's my friend in here? I don't <laughs> see no me. What's going on? I'm sorry. No, don't worry. It's good to see you in class. Welcome. Let me see. Karina Jimenez, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. I'm ready for the class. Excellent. That's the move. Very good. All right, everyone. So let me share with you my PPT. And there you have it. We're still in section five. Today we're going to finish section five. Date, Thursday, August 12th, 2021. And we are in class 14, right? So we're still in section five. Tell me about your family, but we have more topics in here to develop. Now let's see, do you remember? Yesterday we saw pretty good content, I'll say. And I believe that you learned a lot. So let me check how we're doing with this. So let's see, Rafael. Present continuous is used for? If for when you doing when you doing an action in the moment exactly there you go right now very good excellent so present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now for example we are having class right easy easy as that <laughs> Let me see. Number two, difference between simple present and simple continuous, my friend Noemi. The difference is the simple present is used to talk about a uh, habitual action or daily routines. Mm -hmm. And in present continuous, uh, it just in an action that happening right now. For Bravo. example, I am studying English in this moment. Mm -hmm. Exactly, there you go, very good. Excellent. Let's go with number three. Mention the structure or just no questions in present continuous. Let me see, Diane. Do you remember the structure for just no questions? In present continues. Maybe you have it on your notebook. Yes, is a uh, B plus subject. No, B plus subject plus verb A and G plus complement. Plus, uh, mark question. It. question, question, market, question, market. <laughs> oh, yeah, very good. Hey, everyone, you know, I get so happy when you get to give me the, the structures because I believe, uh, as far from my experience, I believe that it's good that you learn the structures because it simplifies, right? The creation of sentences. So it's good for you to have structures. So let's move on. Thank you very much. So let's see. We have WH, WH question with present continuous. Crisia, tell me the structure, please. Is WH plus B plus subject plus verb 
ing plus complement. And the question mark. <laughs> uh, and question mark. Excellent. Very that's good. It. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. All right. So that's the structure. If you don't have it, please copy this structure on your notebook. And you will have it as a reference. Whenever you need to create something and uh, with questions, WH words, you can use it. You can use this structure. Excellent, my friend. Excellent. All right. So let's see. Hey, Miss, do you have guiding examples? Of course, I have. <laughs> Let me see. We have these guiding examples. I'm always missing the numbers, guys. Maybe I don't like numbers. <laughs> and here, it's going to be easier. So let's see. Fatima Karina, read question number one. Just the question. Okay. What is Anna drinking? Mm -hmm. Let's see, Luis Alonso. Welcome to today's class. <laughs> Tell me the answer for question number one, please. Uh, she is drinking soda. Soda. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There you go. We are using WH, but now let me tell you this as a reference. I don't know if you remember, but yesterday I told you, and also in the, plat in the platform appears that information that you're going to use WH question, WH words whenever it's needed, all right? It's not that today you want to do it this way. No, you're going to use it whenever it's needed, all right? Thank you, Luis. And let me see, Claudia Maria, read question number two, please. Who are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. There you go, we have another WH word. And the answer, Sarseño Raul. I am waiting for Eunice. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for Eunice or Eunice. Excellent. That's the name of a person, right? I'm waiting for Eunice. All right. Excellent. Very good. We only have these two examples, but I'm pretty sure that you know how to create more, right? So let's see. Let's go to practice time. Now, for the ones that are getting into the class, for example, I'm seeing... Luis and Cesar and let me check somebody else, Jimmy. We are in WH questions or WH question with present continuous. You can copy this structure please on your notebooks so that you will have it as a reference. Let me know when you're finished. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Good. Very good. Now let's go to the practice time. Instructions. Um, Karina Jimenez, please read the instructions. Work individually. Create one question in present continuous by using W H words. Share the sentence with the class. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. You know what to do. Create your sentence, and I'll be, I'll be in here waiting for your sentence, for your question.
finished? Yes. Ya se habían dormido. <laughs> All right, thank you, everyone. Let's see. Let's start with. Dun, dun, dun. Let me look for my agenda. I'm going to start with. Ah, welcome, Fabiola. Good evening, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. It's good to see you in class. Let's see. We are going to start with Marvin. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, what are they eating right now? They are they are eating seafood. Okay, excellent. Very good. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Let me see. Let's go with Karina Jimenez. Is he working today? Mm -hmm. Is he working today? Excellent. Let me see. Let's check Diane, please. Um, what is Louise cooking? Mm -hmm. What is Louise cooking? Excellent. Noemi, please. Where is your sister going? Mm -hmm, exactly. Very good. Rafael? What are we doing right now? We mm -hmm. are making our sentences using present continuous. Excellent. Bravo, Rafael. Very good. Let's go with Luis Alonso. Uh, what are, are they playing? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Yeah, it's correct. Christian. What's going on? <laughs> uh, that's the info. I know you can do better. <laughs> but it's good. Over. Where are you? Uh -huh. where, where are you playing soccer? <laughs> All right, very good, excellent. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let's go with Jessica. What are you cooking? What are you cooking? Yes. Excellent, bravo, Jessica. Fatima, Karina. Who are you going in the park with? Mm, let's see, can you repeat that again, please? Who are you going in the bar with? In the party. Because I think you're not using it as a mm -hmm. action right now, as an action that is happening right now. Let's check. What if we do it, if we make a different question? Do you believe that you can create a different question? Like for example, uh -huh, yeah, that was, that one was easy, but it's good, yeah. Very good, thank you, Fatima. Let's go with Cesar. Uh, where are the children playing in the park? What are the children playing in the park? Are you sure? Yeah, what? Yes. Okay, excellent, very good. Okay, let's go with Florence. What is she thinking now? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. What is she thinking now? Rene Samuel. Yes, teacher. Tell me your sentence, my friend. No sé si está bien, pero your se lo voy a decir. Uh -huh. yeah. <clears throat> what are you doing with Anna? Is drinking bar. Okay. Yeah. 
You can say, what are you doing? You don't need the S, okay? So what are you doing with Anna? Is that correct, Rune? Yes. Excellent, very good. Yeah, you don't need to add the S because we are not having a contraction in there and we don't need the S, okay? Thank you, Rene. Very good, it was good. Let's go with Ra Sarseño Raúl. I think I haven't asked you yet. Mm -hmm. Let's check, Raúl. Mm, let's see. Are you there, Raúl, or you're having dinner right now? Let's see. We have, now from the ones that were in here. Oh, yes, we have Jimmy. Jimmy, tell me your sentence, please. Okay. What is Carlos eating? Mm -hmm. What is Carlos eating? Excellent. Very good. And then I will have Jocelyn. What is she doing right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is she doing right now? Karina Jimenez, I haven't asked you yet, right? Yes. Okay. You already passed, no, right? Todavía no ha pasado, verdad? Yes. Yes, all right. Let me check your name here again. Karina. Yes, you're right. You're the first one that I have, the second one that I have. All right, thank you. All righty, y'all. So let's see, Fabiola. Tell me your sentence, or if you have a question, tell me. No, my sentence. Your your question? Actually, it's a question. <laughs> no, my sentence. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. What is she running at night? Mm, what is? Where? Where? Where is Where? she running? Running at night. Running at night. Okay, very good. Where is she running right now? Okay. It's good. It could work. Let me see. So, Fabiola, uh, I don't know if you have it, but I have this structure in here just in case, because I think you were not in here before. So I have this structure. Or oh, do you have it already? Yes, the structure I right yesterday. Ah, okay. Yeah, this one is with WH. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Very good. All right. So very good job, everyone. Excellent. Excellent sentences. I'm proud of you. So let's move on. Let's practice our speaking ability or our speaking skill. Let's see, we have this conversation. I hope you, you are able to see it. And we're going to make some pairs. Let me see, Cesar, you're going to work with, with Crisia. So Cesar, you are Marcos. Crisia, you are Meili. Action. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Uh, not really. I love all the families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get love of the brightest presence. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much. 
Now let's see, in here we are practicing with quantifiers. We are using quantifiers. So let's see, Cesar, repeat after me. A lot of. A lot of. Three times. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of. Excellent, a lot of. Very good, Rafael. You are Marcus and Noemi, you are Meili. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child, nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that difficult in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller this day, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Excellent, very good. Thank you, both of you. Now let's go with Luis Alonso and Diane Guadalupe, please. Luis, you are Marcas. Diane, you are Meili. Action. Okay. Um, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actuality, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most family in China have only one child new, new days. I did I didn't know know that. What about you, Marco? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that difficult in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get you get a lot of birthday presents. Excellent. Thank you so much, both of you. Very good. Let's see, Diane. Let's practice together. Actually. Actually. Three times. Actually, actually, actually. Very good. And the last one, Diane. Nowadays. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. Nowadays. 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 Excellent. Very good. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, right? <laughs> but that's a time expression. Very good. Thank you, Diane. Let's go with uh, Jimmy. You are going to work with Jessica. Jimmy, you are Marcus. Jessica, my friend, you are Meili. Action. Okay, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meli? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most, most families in China have holy whole child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Well, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller this day, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Thank you, both of you, very good. Jessica, just repeat after me, China. China, 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 China. Excellent, very good, there you go. Everything else was perfect, both of you. Thank you. René Samuel, you are Marcus. Jocelyn, you are Meili. Action. <clears throat> Bien. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am an only only child. Really? 
Yeah. Most family and try have only one child uh, nowadays. I didn't know what that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and th and two two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not not really. A lot of families are are smaller. These days, both big families are great because you had lost lost of birthday presents. Thank <clears throat> you. Thank you so much, both of you. Very good. Let's see, Jocelyn. Repeat after me. Most families. Most family. Mm -hmm. In China. In China. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with the next next pair. Sarseño Raúl. And Karina Jimenez, please. Raul, you are Marcos. Karina, you are me. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am only shy. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Uh, not really. A lot of families are smaller this day, but big families are they are great because you get love of beauty person. Thank you so much, both of you. Very good job. Let's go with Florence and Marvin. So Florence, you are mainly in Marvin, you are Marcus. Action. How many brothers and sisters do you have, maybe? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? I come from a fifth family. I have three bro brothers and two sisters. Well, it's a typical in Peru. Not really. A lot of families are smaller this day. But... Big family are great because you get a lot of birthday present. Excellent, bravo, good job. Let's go with Fabiola, you are mainly, and Mauricio, you are Marcus, action. Your microphone, Mauricio. We can't hear you. You have your microphone your microphone off. Okay, right now. Yes. Sorry. Uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Eileen? Sorry, I am only shy. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers, two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. These days. But big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Excellent. Bravo, guys. Very good job. Let's go with Karina Marisol. You're going to be Marcus. And Ada Gabriela, you're going to be Meili. Action. 
How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? Really? Hello? Ada, let's see. Do you Hello? Listen to us? Do you listen to me? Are you there, Ada? Ada? Yes. Okay. Let's start again, please, my friend Karina. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, baby? If you have problems, Sarah, don't worry. We can get some someone else. Yes, co me pueden escuchar. Yeah, we can hear you. Ah, okay. Again, please. If you want, you can go in here, my friend Ada. Actually, okay, okay. Actually, I am I am on only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come for, from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good job. Elsie de Carballo, you are Marcus. No, Claudia Maria, you are going to be Marcus and Elsie de Carballo, you are mainly. Action. Are you there, Claudia? How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? Uh -huh, Hi, Elsie. Okay, let's see, Andrea Sosa, you're going to work with Maria, with Claudia Maria, please. Actually, you... okay, actually, I'm, I'm only shy. Really? Yeah, most family in China have only one, one shield nowadays. Uh -huh, Maria. Oh. I. I didn't know that. I okay. didn't know. Yo continúo la conversación, Andrea. Usted sigue siendo Meili. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Who is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of, you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Now listen, my dear friends, don't forget, I don't know how many of you are able to practice outside of the class, your English and all those stuff, but, Take this as an advantage that you can practice your English. It's not only going to be the platform, but also you can practice your English in here with me or with your classmates. All right, so let's go with quantifiers. This is the topic, all right? So let me see. Rafael, please read this information. When we are not sure or we don't know the 
percentage percentage of, percentage of something we use quantifier exactly very good thank you this is like I, I don't know how many exactly you don't have a right percentage and that's why and this is when you use quantifiers let's see more about it we have this chart let me see Fatima Karina please read the first three quantifiers that we have with this sentence families have only one child okay all nearly all most mm -hmm. but tell me family, the I sorry family have only one child 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 mm -hmm. Excellent. thank you let's see Cesar Continue with many, a lot of, and some. But read the sentence according to each of them. Many, a lot of, some families are smaller these days. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, my friends, when I told you to read it one for one, it's like many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. And some families are smaller these days. Um, this is one way in which our brain is going to accept the content and is going to assimilate, right? The content, very good. Thank you. Let's go with Noemi. Not many, a few and few. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. Thank you. Diane, please read the last one. No one gets married before the age of 18. Excellent. No one gets married before the age of 18. Thank you, Diane. Very good. All right. Now, you see, everyone, these are some of the quantifiers that we have. And I have these like information for you in here and you can copy this also in your notebook. Let me see, I'm going to ask Jose Walter, please read the information in the blue chart. If you want to make reference to 100% uh, you may say oh and then you work down this Scale. A scale. Sorry. Scale. Depending on the percentage that you need to use. Thank you very much. So there you have it. If you want to make a reference to a hundred percent at all, you're not changing not even one percent, you may say all. Okay, because it's understood that if you say all, it means hundred percent. And then you work down the scale depending of the percentage that you need to use. This is going to be used according to your needs, right? According to what you want to express or the content in which we are being developed. Okay, let me know when you finish copying this on your notebook. This is important. Maybe I could ask you next class. You don't know.
finish. Excellent, thank you for letting me know. All right, can I move on now? No, not yet, Diane. Okay. Finish. Thank you. Thank you very much. Finish. Great. Excellent. Finish. Good. Como recomendación, siempre les voy a, a, a decir o a recordar que si ustedes pueden, consigan un marker o highlights or something para que las palabras específicas las tengan en otro color. No importa en qué año, qué grado, dónde estemos, siempre nos va a funcionar para recordar las cosas, ¿ok? So it's good for you if you highlight these words. Ok. Excellent, very good. All right, shall I move on? Cesar and Fabiola and the other ones. Yes, okay. I finish. We finish. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Now we have this guiding examples. Let's see. We have quantifier, plural noun. Let's see. Jessica, please read the first question. Question number, no, sentence number one, please. Never had many words from home. Mm -hmm, exactly. Thank you. Now, if you notice in here, my dear friends or my dear students, the quantifier is nearly all. Okay. My plural noun is men. The rest come with, right? We have, of course, a verb in here, and after the verb, we can call it come. And there you have it. Let's go with sentence number two, Luis Alonso. Uh, my sister has many friends. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. Very good. Now, I in here, I have many as my quantifier, and then I have friends as my plural noun. This is my subject, and this is my verb. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Now in here, let's focus on this. It doesn't mean that because you have a quantifier, it doesn't mean that you're always going to start the sentence with the quantifier. The grammatical rule is telling us that the quantifier, it goes before the plural noun, okay? So you can have something else at the beginning of the sentence and that won't be a problem. Just make sure to have your quantifier before a plural noun. In this case, Friends is my plural now, all right? I'm not talking about one person, I'm talking about a group of people, right? Friends. Let's go with the following. Marvin, number three, please. A lot of teenagers, teenagers. Of teenager, teenagers are having COVID lately. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're a missing Nate. Okay, thank you. Are having COVID lately? There you have it. A lot of, it's my quantifier, teenagers is my plural now. I'm not talking about just one boy. I'm talking about a group of certain age, all right? Teenagers. Let's go with the last one, Jocelyn, number four. I like a few things about your friends. Excellent, thank you. I like a few things about your friend. Gunas, few things. 
Then again, I have my quantifier before the plural noun. As I told you, my dear students, you could have anything else at the beginning of the sentence or at the end, but just make sure to have your quantifier before the plural noun. That's it. You don't need more than that. If you want, you can get these examples. If not, I will move on. Miss, mm -hmm. I have a question. Um, what is the quantifier in the four and uh, number four? A few, algunas, uh, unas okay. pocas, unas cuantas. Um, where now is friend? Ah, things. Ah, things. Oh. Uh -huh. things. It's not things, no es de pensamiento, it's things, de cosas, okay? Ah, uh, okay. Ya vamos okay. a ver otra a donde se utiliza el verbo, all right? Right now, just stay with it. All right, finished? Finished. No, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, don't worry. Finish. Excellent, thank you. All right, so please remember, Fabiola, please. Read the plural nouns that we have in there. Okay, plural nouns, people, place, countries, books, dresses, things, time, years, friends. Excellent, thank you so much. So there you have it. Those are some examples of plural nouns. Remember that you can find or you will have more plural nouns, but these are the ones that I got you in here in class for you to have, all right? You can copy these plural nouns because maybe you're going to use them when we get to the practice time. Finish. Great. Excellent. Finish. Good. Finish. Finish. Very good. 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 All right. So we have more information. Um, please remember that this information is for you to practice and to get more content and also to have a very clear idea about what is going on with the topic, right? What is the topic about? Let's see, Mauricio, can you please read the chart in the green chart, please? Okay. Take into consideration that all quantifiers come before the plural noun. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Let's go with the chart in blue color. Andrea, can you please read where it says we have? We have one quantifier that comes before a verb, no one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, exactly. Now, if you notice, my dear students, in the platform, they mentioned this, right? You have like, this is specifically, no one. That's like a, that's like a quantifier that comes before a verb. So I have some examples for you. Let's see. Rafael, read example number one. No one works 
more than 10 hours per day. Exactly. Well, that's not true. Maybe in our country we we'll work more than 10 hours. Okay. <laughs> but at least you have this sentence and that's what we wanted. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> there you have it. Crisia, read sentence number two, please. No one thinks about global warming nowadays. Exactly. If we think about it, life will be better, but we are not thinking about it, all right? Thank you. No one thinks about global warming nowadays. Nadie piensa acerca del calentamiento global, ahora en día. All right, there you have it. These are just like two examples for no one. Of course, we could have plenty of them. But after you finish copying this information, if you want to take it or not, I will move on. We are going to have the practice, right? Should I move on, my friends, or? Okay, thank you. So we have the practice time. Let's see. We have instructions. Let me see. Luis Alonso, please read the instructions. Uh, instructions. Uh, one, work individually. Two, create one sentence sentence using quantifiers. Mm -hmm. uh, three, share your question with the class. All right, everyone, there you have it. Now listen, I will send this on, on what? On WhatsApp, because I think we won't have that much of a time and I need to practice your reading skill. So I'm going to send this for you to practice and Please create that sentence, all right? But right now let's go to, let's practice our reading skill, all right? Let's see. We have this reading and I hope you are able to see it. And let's start with, you want me to make it bigger, Diane? Let me see if I can. Oh, wow. I want the whole document. There you have it. Is it? A little bit bigger now. I could cut the picture of that people. <laughs> we really, we are not into that. <laughs> I just need the reading. Excellent. There you have. It. All right. Let me see. Let's just start with Karina Marisol, please. Read the first paragraph. American families. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Thank you. Let's go with Fabiola, second paragraph. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, George, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six. And still is a computer for program. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administration, administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Thank you, my friend. Very good. Let's go with this one. Mauricio, can you please read the first paragraph? I don't know if you can see it. Now. Now, now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the, with the housework. Mm -hmm. He doesn't enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's almost every man, right? They don't enjoy housework. Thank you, Mauricio. Very good reading. Luis Alonso, Judy. Judy loves. Uh, Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired. And, 
Bus busy. 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 Mm -hmm. She busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Re Marvin, Marvin, please. Emily. Emily is having. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to want to leave. Excellent, very good. Walter, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Ben School doesn't have an after school program. Right now he's spin, spinning most afternoon in front of TV of the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And Karina Jimenez, this one, the last one. Josh is enjoying. Josh, enjoying Josh, so Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few ho household chores. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now, this is a reading like a cause and effect, right? So I was checking your reading. And of course, not everyone had the opportunity to practice in here. But most of you did pretty well. All right. Now, listen, with this, we finish section number five, right? So please, just as a friendly reminder, complete the platform, get to the 80%. If you have questions, you know where you can find the answers or the help. Now, something else, let me see. No, we're going to finish classes. Ah, Noemi, tell me. Solo tengo una pregunta. No sé, en el grupo mandaron un, un mensaje donde hoy era último día para entregar documentos, pero a mi persona no me enviaron el mensaje a mi WhatsApp personal. Yo mm -hmm. le respondí el mensaje a Jason Bautista, pero no me lo respondió, no le pregunté porque yo le dije de que había visto el mensaje, pero que a mí en lo personal no me habían compartido nada. Y vi que algunos compañeros en el grupo también pusieron lo mismo, pero yo le escribí a él y tampoco me respondió. Le pregunté que si me lo iba a enviar. Yo no he mandado documentos, no sé si con eso nos podía averiguar usted. Sí, claro que sí. De, deme unos minutitos porque ahorita no sé si estarán despiertos, ¿verdad? Pero si no se puede ahora, yo les averiguo mañana porque esto sí es bien importante, tiene razón. Y me interesa que ustedes estén bien para el otro curso porque se han esforzado bastante en eso. Let's see, Diane. No se preocupen, Noemi. Yo le voy a mantener una respuesta, no más la consiga. Yo le quería responder a Noemi. Eh, a veces ellos tienen así como que bastantes personas esperando. Entonces lo que puede hacer es siempre enviarle a Jason por medio del correo eh, sus su datos, ¿verdad? El do y el mid, llenar todo el formulario, tanto físico como virtual, e igual siempre se lo van a recibir. Lo que le puede poner al correo al final es que le confirmen de recibido. Lo que pasa es de que a nosotros, en los grupos anteriores, fueron bien explícitos en decirnos de que solamente íbamos a imprimir lo que nos mandaran ellos para el siguiente módulo. No nos permitían usar un formulario de los que ya nos habían enviado en módulos anteriores. Por eso de que es mi pregunta, ¿verdad? Porque obviamente yo sí tengo los formularios anteriores y los podría llenar, pero ellos eh, en los otros grupos fueron como que bien, bien explícitos en eso, ¿verdad? De que solo cuando ellos nos mandaran ese formulario teníamos que, que imprimir. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got you. I got you, Noemi. Thank you, Diane. También, Diane, gracias. Eh, bueno, de todas maneras, yo me voy a buscar para obtenerle una respuesta, Noemi, si alguna persona... Si algún otro estudiante tiene... Ah, Fabiola. There you go. Ajá. Ahorita estamos en tiempo de preguntas y respuestas. En mi caso, yo siempre he llenado formulario con el primero que me enviaron. Solo en blanco lo tengo. Y a mano, sí, porque eso sí me lo exigieron. Porque los dos primeros meses sí se podía llenar digital. Y no había problema. Pero de ciertos meses para acá... Es a mano, pero yo imprimo el mismo formulario en blanco que tengo desde el, el inicio. Solo lo imprimo, lo lleno a mano, se escanea y es envío. No he tenido problema con eso. Ya noté ese punto y voy a, voy a solicitar ese punto para que, para vernos de mí, porque si a usted le dijeron eso, pues quién sabe, puede ser diferente. 
pero también lo que Fabiola y Dayan mencionaron puede ser eh, muy verídico en este grupo también, ¿verdad? Así que déjenme, yo le voy a preguntar. ¿Alguien más? ¿Un comentario? ¿Amigos? ¿Antes de despedirnos? ¿Tienes de clases clase tomorrow, ya? Yeah? No, ya, yeah, tomorrow ya yeah, no. El lunes, entonces. Yeah, until, until Monday. 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 Till Monday. Sí, Monday and Tuesday. Todavía tienen Monday clases. Ajá. Este, ¿qué más les quería decir? Monday, creo que es el día que vamos a revisar el examen. Por si no lo han hecho, lo vamos a chequear. Even if you already did it, I'm gonna check it. And on Tuesday, we're going to have a review from the whole units. All right? There you go, my dear students. As always, a pleasure to have you in class. Have a great night. Sleep as much as you can. And see you next class. Bye. Okay, bye, teacher. Thank you so much, bye, teacher. teacher. Bye. bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, good night. Good night, everybody. See you.